Hi, this video is going to be the vocabulary related to the plot of a story. So we're going to identify the elements of a plot diagram. Plot, as you know, is um, the sequence of events that make up a story. And um, they're all related to each other. So there's your definition of plot. Now, as an author takes you through the story, you have several parts as we go on the journey of the story. And each one of these parts, as numbered here in this video, um, has a name. The first one is the exposition of the story. And this is obviously at the beginning. And this is where the characters are introduced and we're going to learn about the setting. Um, also, this is where you get into the main conflict that is also another vocabulary word um, which means problem um, that's also introduced in the exposition of the story rising action um, this is the part of the story where the where you develop the conflict and um, building of interest and suspense occurs through many different events not just one event but you see it's a little bumpy road right there but many events build and lead um, the character through rising actions the climax of the story is the most intense or emotional part of the story and this is usually where the conflict is resolved if we think about the Lion King um, the conflict of the story is when Simba and Simba fights um, Scar to regain um, control of the Pride Land. That the fight scene is the climax where he fights and you know pushes finally gets Scar pushes him over the edge. Done climax. Falling action is what happens after the climax. So any of those events where um, the hyenas let leave, if we're still talking about the Lion King, and you've got um, restoration of the Pride Lands, all of those events would be falling action. And then finally we have the resolution and how things are left. If we go back to the Lion King one more time, um, Simba does take his place as king of the Pride Lands. He and Nala, I guess, get married or whatever lions do, and they have a cub of their own, and everything is butterflies and unicorns. Well, maybe not unicorns, but everything is just wonderful in the Pride Lands, and that's how the story is left. Now, what I want to point out to you is that the climax, falling action, and resolution of the story usually happen at the very, 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 very end. Okay? Think about it. If you have the climax in the middle of the story, there wouldn't be a whole lot of reason to keep reading because you've already had that emotional event. There's nothing else going to be that good. What are, you, what are you reading for? So that's why the author usually puts the climax, falling action, resolution in the last chapter or some of the last chapters of the book. There's usually not a whole, whole lot after the climax. So falling action and resolution is usually a pretty short amount of the book. So keep that in mind that when you see climax on the plot diagram, that doesn't mean it happens in the middle. Okay? Alright, that's all for this lesson.